ട്വന്റി ട്വന്റിയെ കുറിച്ച് നല്ല കാര്യങ്ങൾ മാത്രമേ പറയൂന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞ ആഴ്ച ഒരു വാക്ക് തന്നിരുന്നു പക്ഷേ ചില നഷ്ടങ്ങളെ കുറിച്ച് പറയാതെ പോകാൻ പറ്റില്ല അതിലൊരു വലിയ നഷ്ടമാണ് മലയാളം പഠനത്തിന്റെ കാര്യത്തിൽ സംഭവിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന നഷ്ടം അത് നമുക്കാവില്ല പക്ഷേ കേരളത്തിന് പുറത്ത് ജനിച്ച് വളർന്ന കുട്ടികൾക്ക് ഈ കൊല്ലം മിസ്സായി പോയ പ്രാക്ടീസ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഒരു വലിയ നഷ്ടം തന്നെയാണ് നാട്ടിലേക്ക് കൊല്ലത്തിൽ ഒരിക്കൽ വരുമ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ഉള്ളവരോടൊക്കെ സംസാരിക്കുമ്പോഴായിരിക്കും പുതിയ വാക്കുകൾ പഠിക്കുന്നതും പ്രൊണൗൺസിയേഷൻ കറക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നതും ഒക്കെ പക്ഷെ അങ്ങനെ ഒരു നഷ്ടം പലർക്കും സംഭവിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിലും പലരും കുറെ കാലമായിട്ട് മലയാള പഠനം ഓൺലൈനിലൂടെ ആക്കി മാറ്റിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇൻസ്റ്റഗ്രാമിലൂടെയും യൂട്യൂബിലൊക്കെ മലയാളം പഠിപ്പിക്കാനായിട്ട് ഒരുപാട് പേരാണ് റെഡി ആയിട്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് ആൻഡ് അവരിൽ മലയാളികൾക്ക് ഏറ്റവും പ്രിയപ്പെട്ട ടീച്ചേഴ്സിൽ ഒരാളോട് കഴിഞ്ഞ ദിവസം സംസാരിക്കാൻ ഒരു അവസരം കിട്ടി എലിക്കുട്ടി എന്ന് സ്വയം പരിചയപ്പെടുത്തുന്ന എലിക്കുട്ടി അല്ല കേട്ടോ എലിക്കുട്ടി എന്ന് സ്വയം പരിചയപ്പെടുത്തുന്ന എലിസബത്ത് കീറ്റൻ ഒരു കൊച്ചിക്കാരനെ കല്യാണം കഴിച്ചതിന് ശേഷം മലയാളികളെ മലയാളം പഠിപ്പിക്കുന്ന എലിസബത്തിന്റെ വിശേഷങ്ങളിലേക്ക് യു ടീച്ച് മലയാളം ടു മലയാളീസ് ആൻഡ് നോൺ മലയാളീസ് ആൻഡ് പീപ്പിൾ ഫ്രം കേരള ഹു നോട്ട് ബിൻ ബ്രോട്ട് അപ്പ് ഇൻ ഹിയർ സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ മോസ്റ്റ് ചാലഞ്ചിങ് ആസ്പെക്ട് ഫോർ എ ന്യൂ ജനറേഷൻ നോൺ റെസിഡന്റ് ഇന്ത്യൻ മലയാളി ടു ലേൺ ദിസ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു യുവർ ഒബ്സർവേഷൻസ് their own family <laughs> um you know it's it's really difficult i make a lot of mistakes when i speak malayalam yanore kunyu kunye pole yaane you know but everyone's very encouraging they're like oh it's okay keep trying you're doing fine you're doing a great job but when a american malayali or even a malayali growing up in delhi or mm-hmm. uh, bangalore if they mispronounce something the fact che ayi true <laughs> are you even a malayali and so because they get afraid of being shamed they switch to english and then it's like oh ja da are it you know they don't even speak <laughs> malayalam you know and so this creates a very un it's not a conducive environment to learn malayalam and so you know either they stop learning or they're learning in secret because they're afraid of making a lot of mistakes or you know or they've got other things going on i mean if you're you're going to school you're working you're you know it's already hard enough you know assimilating into a different culture from yours and then trying to maintain your mother language on top of that like there are a lot of barriers but i think that it starts at home where it's gently introducing your children to the language being gentle with them make it natural make it fun don't make it like you know i have to go to this class on saturday mornings to learn malayalam you know and it's just it, it's a bit difficult and i know parents mean the best for their kids and they're not always able to do all these things or maybe the community doesn't have the resources available but at the same time we have to be more gentle and more encouraging for these new generations that want to learn or are, are curious to learn malayalam malayalam padikkina edoru aalodu aalkaru oru litmus test aayittu parayunnathu la ennalla oru letter aanu and you have named your pet cats parashi and tholan ennu njan aranjirunnu appo why choose that difficult <laughs> letter and also how did you learn that letter and mattullavarku ipo parnu kodukumbo anganathe malayalathinu mathram specific aayittulla karyangal enganeyanu parnu kodukkan shramikkar yeah so ee aksharam very special alle so i'm thinking what works for my students that could help me so uh, uh, for me you know oru diagram cheythu uh, so pinne tongue place ne pen So like when we talk about like where are we putting our tongue where are we making the sound because if we can see it then we can replicate it right so ra yeah. ra and then as for my cats like uh, it's not it's not about the difficulty of the name it's about what it represents you know Barishi Raja he was very important in Malayali history you know Kerala history he defeated the British and then when we got the second cat he was supposed to be Barishi's friend so we chose the name Thorin because it's like a companion uh so it it was just a kind of a cute thing but yes people always make a joke like you gave your cats names that westerners can't pronounce so it's it's, it's really so ellari malayalam padipikkumbo aadi malayalam padichu edukkanayirunnallo appo angane padichu edukkana samayathu dialects engane manage cheyidu karena keralathil ipo 14 districts ilum 14 reethil aanu oru vaakkum even basic words polum parayunnathu so how did you manage to learn that Well, I am still learning about the different dialects and 14 is not even the right number. Like if you go to like um a quarter code for example, you know, every single like if you go one like 10 15 kilometers the dialect changes even again. So, uh but say it's really nice but it's also really funny because my husband will tell me something uh in the Bartava Kochi Karanana so you know, I've got the Ernakulam accent on it. Uh nyanore veliya yatra undayirana Kerala thil 
So, you know, and it could, uh, I wanted to see the different uh, cultures and hear the different dialects. So I went from Kaatharago to Chirvendram and it was just amazing to hear the, the differences across Malayalam. Um, I like the small cute things like in Malabar, you know, uh, it's Koye code instead of Kori code and, and, you know, in Trivandrum, they use, they use the word Appi for another meaning. <laughs> so like these kinds of things. <laughs> Another beautiful thing you do uh, that you did recently is uh, teaching uh, Malayalam through song lyrics. Uh, that's not very easy because there is a poetic element to it. So literal translation is not going to be able to do the lyrics. So how did you come to that decision to do it like that? Another challenging thing. So there is a challenge. 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 Like, oh, please do Malayalam songs. You know, in Malayalam culture, the songs are, you know, even if you haven't seen the movie, you know the song. And so, You know, I was thinking about how is the best way to do that. And I have a friend who has a friend who has a friend who has a friend and she has a, a website where she translates Malayalam songs into English. So I asked for her help. I said, can I use the translations uh, in my content? And so she said, sure. And uh, then I started contacting local musicians in Kerala and said, would you like to be a part of this project? And um, I got eight of them to sign on and it was really wonderful. They made these small covers and then I chose a lyric to translate. And, you know, because as you said, Malayalam songs are very poetic. And so some lines, it's really difficult to just take it out of context and try to translate it. But because even in everyday speech, you know, you know, so it's, it's, but it was really lovely. The, the, the response was really lovely and more people were able to, either learn about new songs that they didn't know before, learn about new musicians they didn't know about before, or learn some new vocabulary. So it was a really fun project. Yes, true. And uh, do you have a favorite lyric uh, among the ones you've done already? Um, yes, but I'm going to pronounce it. <laughs> um, it's from the song uh, Vanilla Chandrika. Oh my goodness. I keep... know. <laughs> yeah, yes, that song. Like, it's so sweet. So what's next for uh, Elikuti and learning Malayalam? So, I have a lot of educational content, but also entertaining content. Fair enough. So, um, I'm looking into things about Kerala festivals, looking at relationships between Tamar and Malayalam, and uh, yeah, just seeing what the new year has. Right now, we're doing a speaking challenge because uh, most people, when they're studying a language, they're always reading and they're always hearing it, but they don't speak it very much, especially, you know, Nyan Vietnamila, the Kunda Malayali Zila. <laughs> like, I don't get to practice with anyone except my husband. So, you know, the speaking challenge, uh, uh, it's a nice way to force myself to create a small speech and speak more in Malayalam. And, so, so. Okay, so let's hope you get some people there to practice Malayalam. Vietnam, Malayali is in down. If you're there, do get in touch with uh, Eli Kuti via her Instagram and, you know, just give her some practice <laughs> in Malayalam. <laughs> I, I, I was on a bicycle. I was on a bicycle and I saw an Indian guy. And I, mm-hmm. I actually was like about to be like, hey, Jerta, not till every day, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> <It was> like... <laughs> okay, so next time, maybe if you see her on street, at least uh, call out and say, not in the Sultan. All right. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you for your time and keep up the great work. Uh, thank you so much for celebrating the language that we grew up learning and being such a big part of our families. Thank you so much. Breaking news in the Chudal and the Mari Tanala Tirna Gunda Samsar can in Namukanavati Chikina Same with a theory. So we'll meet again. Till then, take care.